And we're back. Hello, everybody. We're back on live. And I'm just defining that inner crease. Hi, everybody. Hi everybody, how are you? Woo 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 woo! So many people. Um, let's use a different brush. I always feel like I have to change up my mug for these lives, so I'm trying to think of ways that we can really just, like, incorporate the <clears throat> trans pride flag. Um, you know what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to look up. Can you look up the trans pride flag and see what colors are next to what? I think it's blue, then pink, and then white. So maybe I should gradiate in from the sides. What do you guys think? You know, there's never any, like, pastel Pink yeah, too. it's blue, pink, white, pink, blue. Okay, perfect. Gorgeous. Thank you, baby. No problem, bud. That is not the pink. It's funny that, like, places really can't just, like, make that light pink shadow. Here we go. Just like a nice, soft, light pink. That's gorgeous. You guys, today is tra uh, Trans Visibility Day. So please just support your trans brothers and sisters, friends and family, co-workers, and loved ones. Send your love. Really just celebrate them. We love our trans fans in this community. I can't wait to meet all of you, see all of your beautiful faces. Thank you. People are Yes, that is why I'm doing trans colored makeup today. But actually like the tran like the um <clears throat> trans pride flag has so many just like of my favorite colors, pastel blue, pastel pink, white. Um how could I not love this color palette? How is it not beautiful? And if you guys are wondering why trans visibility and trans rights mean so so much to me like in my uh on my revealed look my jacket <clears throat> um i put on there trans lives matter black lives matter because i really just wanted to show people what they were getting into when they supported me as a queen that we support our people of color and trans sisters in this fandom and we love them period
beautiful. Here we go. <clears throat> I mean, I've said it before, I'll say it again, trans rights matter. Trans rights, trans lives matter. I am fucking up this makeup. Oh my god, I didn't pin the Venmo. Thank you. My ass is so stupid. <clears throat> Thank you. Wow. I can't believe that there's people who are just like looking out for you like that. Just everywhere. I love you guys. <clears throat> okay. What I'm thinking is maybe I can take this little detailed brush and find a nice pastel pink and do some hearts <clears throat> is that part going to get covered in it's going to get covered in it's totally going to get covered in eyeliner. So we'll just do it a bit higher, actually. Let's hope it looks good. We'll figure it out later. <laughs> Should I contour my Adam's apple? You don't like it? So I don't necessarily want it to be even because I like things to be uneven when it comes to adding the accent stuff. Hello! Hi everybody! I hope I'm not slowing down right now, energy-wise, because that is certain death. <laughs> okay. Um, you know what they should make is, you know what they do, they have made, but I just haven't bought yet, is like liquid pink liner. I mean, I need to buy that right now. It's going in the cart. It's going right in the cart. A-S-A-P. Did I say P? That's not P, it's shirt. Oh. <laughs> there we go. Some nice color. I think I will get the NYX liquid liner in pink because that's the what I use for my nose and I like the opacity and I'm starting to do more detail work with my makeup now that people can actually see it in pictures Okay, I have a question for you guys. I did some hearts. Should I outline them in white or should I do the inside of them in white so it looks like the pink is the outline? <clears throat> I 
Oh, I also got a whole bunch of really fun stuff from Kimchi Cosmetics. Like, they gave me their whole line of makeup, and I love it. It's really good. Also, I love kimchi. Inside, inside. Outline, pink outline. Okay. Outline, outline the white. Outline with white. Outline them in white. I got another one. One of each. Oh, you know what? I could do that. It's a good idea. Let's do that and let's try not to mess it up because God knows I'm on live right now and I'm going to mess it up. You got it, hon. Okay, I'm I'm freaking out right now. How do I do this top part? I have to like JoJo pose to do it. This is kind of why I didn't want to outline it, but it is looking pretty good. And I messed it up. It's okay because it's liquid liner and we can fix it later. Right after the live, I'm probably going to, <laughs> I'm probably going to fix it. It looks okay. It's not bad. I like it. Well, that's all that matters. Oh, you like it, huh? Thank you, baby. I love you. I love you. Adam is off to the side right now playing Animal Crossing, but sitting quietly quietly waiting until I'm finished with my makeup and then he is going to pretty much help me with everything. <laughs> as soon as I'm done, I'm like, I need this costume. I need that costume. I need this makeup. Can you grab that for me off the shelf? Grab all my tights for me. Um, Adam is not just my partner, but he's also Sakura's personal assistant. And we love Adam. Love you too. <clears throat> I call you King Adam. Did you know that? Yes. <laughs> the other day. That's so cute. Thank you. Adam, say trans rights. Trans rights. Thank you. Appreciate that. Okay, it's coming. Ah, sorry. The outline of this one is like really crusty compared to that one. <laughs> ah, it's always the left side. It's okay. We can fix it. We got this.
I'm cleaning it up with a little pink now. <laughs> So, I have pink liquid liner, or white liquid liner, and I'm going to line again right here. You know what this is? This, this is just, this is an old one. I have literally like, I have eight of those. I think this is a new one. Let's see. There we go. Oh, that applies so much better. There we go. I'm gonna add more liquid white. If there's any reason to buy this NYX liquid white liner, it's because it's so freaking opaque. Like it's so opaque. The only thing is that it will chunk up on you if you put it in a place that creases a lot um which is why on drag race i used it around my mouth and it started to get really junky when i started lip syncing okay cute Love you guys. Okay, I am back. I'm coming back. Now we're going to add lots of tiny hearts. My favorite part about my makeup now is just the sheer amount of like little white sparkle, sparkly things I add. Love, love doing this. <clears throat> okay. So, how is everybody doing? <laughs> um, when I do all the detail stuff, I always um, just kind of like lose, lose focus of the chat and everything because I mean, like, it requires kind of like, <clears throat> not laser focus, but a lot of focus. Um, but I'm still here, still present. I love you guys. Ooh. There we go. I am playing Animal Crossing, like not exactly right at this very moment right now, but I am playing Animal Crossing, yes. It's very hard because like I'm inside all the time and I just want to play Animal Crossing like 24-7, but I know that I'm also still on Drag Race this season, which means that I have to really just focus on making content. But I also just want to pay off my house in Animal Crossing and go to a, a simple time, <laughs> like a simple place, like where I can just fish and pay off my rent. There we go. Let's see if I can do this in the, in the chat.
Whenever I do my liner, I like to look from the front, and then I also like to look from the side. Because if you go too far sometimes, like this shape right here will get lost or it'll look too skinny. So you always want to go make your shape from the front, and then turn your head to the side, see how it looks like. <clears throat> you guys, I don't have big arms. Like, gay-wise, they're not that big. They're just wiggly. Ew, look at that. That's gross. <laughs> we just had Nikki on the live. She's gone now. I know that she's the personality of the season, but she's gone. She's not coming back. So you guys are stuck with me. I apologize. Uh <laughs> CEO Wiggly Arms. I love you guys so much. Um, I'm really happy that you guys are just here watching me do my makeup and really just chilling with me. Um, I can't wait to do so many more interview stuff, so many other things, um, so much more YouTube stuff that you guys can just ingest because um, I love you guys. This is so fun. Uh, yes. You know when you put on your eyeliner and you're just like, I'm, this is it. I'm, I'm the lady. For all of you guys who are still out there right now, or all of you people who are new to this chat right now, uh, this look is inspired by Trans Visibility Day. Trans Day of Visibility. Let's see, what should I do? Should I just sing my verse? My name is Rock'em Chakra, see? Back home in San Francisco, I'm known for a couple of things. Dipping down low. Splitting like there's no tomorrow. Oh! Oh! When I was in the recording studio, they literally told me, because I only wanted to do part of it as a Chicago character, and they were like, do the whole thing as a Chicago character, do it. I was like, are you sure? And they're like, yeah, it'll be funny. And then I got on stage, and they're like, why did you do the whole thing as a character? And I was like, I'm not done, I'm done. because the man, the, the man who took my voice and put it in that little box said that it'd be funny. He said you were going to like it. You lied. You lied to me. You told me. You told me it'd be funny. I don't know. I thought it'd be funny. Should I have just done a Christopher Walken? Yeah, I mean, that would have been like, worked. Oh, wow. Oh, the name is Arkham Soccer. See? Oh, you know, I tell you, um, I just gotta put some white under my eyes. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Wow. So gorgeous and sickening. Oh my god. Should I have done Christopher Walken for Snatch Game? Forget about it. Forget about it. Forget about it. Adam has an East Coast um, accent. At least to me. Um, so when we first started dating, that's all I would talk to him like. I'd be like, oh, honey, baby, you coming over tonight. I would really like to see you. I I think I like you so much. I just, oh, wow, you, your body makes me go, oh, boom, 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 bada bing. Not bada bing. Uh. Not bada bing. Bada boom. Bada bing, bada boom, you know? Galamar. Wow, I'm really liking this makeup so far. I'm I'm feeling it. You didn't even look and you said I'm beautiful. I love you. Do we do we have makeup wipes? The answer is no. No. So we got to use a toilet paper if you have one, you know. 
I should have went to uh, Daiso before everything closed. Yeah. Okay, that just made everything worse. Well, you can't win them all. <laughs> I got a little dot up my nose. I got a little dot on my nose. Shit. 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 <laughs> Fuck. How we doing, Len? I'm okay. <laughs> you sound great. Thank you. That is not the nose contour. We're gonna we're gonna fix that. Um, with our fingers. Okay, that did not make it worse. I swear. Oh, oh my nose. Oh my nose. Oh, oh, fuck my nose holes. Oh. <laughs> there we go. Beautiful. You know whose makeup I would really love to do is Jada's. Oh, Jada has wonderful. Beautiful. Oh my god. Beautiful. That girl can paint fucking fast too. We were all having dinner, and then she's like, "Oh, I gotta paint for um, I gotta paint for a show that uh, I'm doing here while we're in New York." And we're like, "When do you have to leave?" And she's like, "Oh, in like you know, twenty minutes." <laughs> and then she painted her whole face in fucking twenty minutes, and she looked just as beautiful as she does on the fucking show. She also just has like the most beautiful cheekbones. Yeah. Like everything about her. Absolutely stunning. Did you see that post that she made where like people were just trashing her for saying that she was traded the season? Like what kind of fucking fuck what kind of garbage. fucked up garbage is that? Like so stupid. Like she she says I am the trade of the season, but the thing is like people don't understand sarcasm. And here's the tea is that she is trade of the season. Y'all need to cut it out. We love Jada and this fandom, okay? Absolutely. Absolutely. Adam said it too. <sighs> I really hope. I really hope. I'm letting you all know right now, all 240 people of you in the chat, here, if you are in this fandom, you will take a look at yourself and the things that you do and the way that you interact with the queens on the show and just really just understand that, like, some of the things that uh, fans can say or some of the, the, like, the things that we do like can come off like very racist and very, very, very um, like just like not supportive of people of color. And ev I want everyone in this fandom to really just be supportive of our queens on the show who are people of color. Not just like treat them really special, treat them better than everyone. But I want you to just really make sure that everybody has a fair chance to have a place in your heart. And also just take the time to really, um, yeah, exactly. Don't be a shady lady. Um, learn to understand everyone and relate be able to relate to everyone. I know a lot of people say like uh, I'm able to relate to this queen more or this queen more and a lot of people Unfortunately just say that they can't relate to black queens as much because they can't see past people's skin color Let's just be let's just call a spade a spade um, 
I hope that everyone here right now, at least everyone right here, can be open-minded and can really just like support all of our queens equally. Absolutely. Damn, this shit is gay. I'm so sorry. How small is this nose dot? Whoa. That is not even. And it's fine. <laughs> it's beautiful. It is beautiful. I'm beautiful. Yes, you are. Th thank you, Adam. I appreciate that. <laughs> there we go. Let's set this one. This one has been bothering me for a while. Good. That. Unfortunately, the thing is that every year... Well, it's like a double-edged sword because the fandom grows every year and we get younger kids and new people into the fandom that unfortunately just need to be educated on the way that we treat others with respect sometimes. Um, people always say like we have to keep saying like keep letting people like keep telling people not to be racist every year. You know what I mean? But the thing is that the fandom is growing and there's new people in the fandom and it's no one's responsibility to educate people. But if you can, take the time out of your day, just let people know, don't be racist. We just added a little line right there because we wanted to be fancy. Do we like that? Is that white line good? So I'm feeling it. I'm feeling this fantasy. Ah, I love that! It's so cute! I feel like such a pretty lady right now. Okay. Enough of that pretty lady talk. It's time to do the white. You know what I just realized? I don't have any music playing right now. And I would absolutely, positively love, 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 love some music right now. What happened to the music you were playing, huh? Um, I, I turned it off because Nikki was on and I would rather hear Nikki. I love Kyari Pami Pami more than anything. Oh, I muted it. Um, I love Kyari Pami Pami more than anything, but I love Nikki more. Aww. I do. I love that girl. I love the way she says sponge. 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 <laughs> what? I really like I really like what she says sponge. My favorite band is Perfume. They're a J pop band. Um not just because their music is really, really good, but they have just a beautiful story to them, just like an underdog story. They started off with nothing. And they left their homes to really just become idols. And they they would perform in the park for like two or three people. Not two or three people. Maybe like 10 to 15 people. Um, and now they fill up stadiums full of people because of their hard work. We love perfume. And they're wonderful, nice people. And if there's anything that you can take from a pop star, 
If there's anything you can learn is that kindness will take you all the way. And being nice to people will fill your life with so much satisfaction. Bringing joy to people will really just let, make you feel accomplished and, and just help so many people. You know, one thing about um, going home to Rihanna's SNM is I love Rihanna, I love her music and stuff. Um, I wish we had more happy songs, like really, really just like happy songs on Drag Race. Because I always perform J-pop and K-pop and the mood is always so happy and lovely. Uh, every song that we have, I mean, I guess it's a lip sync for your life. Um, and it's like, it's good to have songs that like have a lot of body and energy and just like, I love myself, but I wish that we would lip sync to some songs like this that are just happy, just like so happy. Sorry, when I do the white, I always get really distracted. Oh, Lady Camden's on here. Hi, hon.
Hi guys! Sorry, I was just living my total Carrie Pommy Pommy fantasy for a second. Like, I think I. I think, uh. I think I just died. Hey, look, Luna Play! Luna Play! Rockham never forgets uh, who is there for them when, you know, when they become something. So um, I just want to let all of my orbits out there know that I never forgot you guys supporting me from the get-go. And I love you guys. be there when Gigi and Crystal finally do get married. I will be performing at their wedding, trust me. I will be their flower girl. Why am I lining my lips? I'm not even done with the eyes yet. I... <laughs>
Um, I said this earlier in the chat. People asked me who I would have done for Snatch Game. I had uh, I had Marie Kondo ready, um, Aubrey Plaza, Margaret Cho, and Helen Kane. I would love to do makeup inspired by So Wet by Luna. I, I you know what? I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna do a Luna inspired look later. Um, just like a big Mobius strip eye would have been great. Um, all of you guys who are like upset that I didn't make it to Snatch Game, don't worry. I will be making green screen videos, and I will also be making videos as all the characters too. So if you'd like to support that, please support me on Venmo. Um, support me uh, on Cameo, support me on my website, rock'emsoccer.com, and also uh, make sure to support me on Patreon. I'm also on Patreon, Rock'em Soccer. Can't really talk while doing the lips, but I'll try. Hello, everybody. Um, the secret to getting a perfect black liner is, oh, you fuck, god damn it. You know what, I forgot to put, um, I forgot to put my makeup list. I was going to do it for everybody for the tutorial. Uh, I use this Inglot gel liner in black. Inglot gel liner in black. You guys, if you ever see a comment that is, Rock, how is your liner so black? It is because I use Inglot gel liner, AMC black. Please, get this, it's really, 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 really good. That is my PSA for today. Oh my god. <laughs> How is your liner so black? Got my milk mustache on. Hi, Gary. Hi, Dinky Des. You guys, did you see my magic carp look with Nikki? That was one of my favorite things. That was one of my favorite things I've ever done. And a lot of you guys might know this too, a lot of you guys might not, but 
before um drag race i was in uh i had a sh we had a show in san francisco with a lot of um queens here who are nerdy and also just like really into like horror inspired makeup uh, a lot of horror inspired trends um and we had a, a little group called pastel gore and um it was me kai kai b michaels cash monet uh, now they have Lisa Frankenstein, uh, Amy Bathhouse, Jelly Jellyfish, and we would always just do nerdy shows, um, like nerdy themes all the time. And uh, Erica Clash, Erica Clash from Dragula Season 2 was on the cast, and Erica is one of my dear, dear, dear friends, and we always just pushed each other to do makeup outside of the box do things that were really just different and do um just do stuff that was really fun so doing the magic carp look was totally what we used to do for pastel gore it was definitely in my wheelhouse um i love doing things that are like big and outside of the box all the time and if you guys have not seen dragula please watch dragula now um especially like if you guys are stuck inside with nothing to do uh, watch season, watch every season of Dracula, but I love season two. Season three just came out. Season three has, uh, Landon Sider, who is a drag king. And they are one of the most sickening, one, sickening performers I've ever seen. And two, just one of the best visual artists that I have ever seen as well. Like, their art is so, so, so good. And, I mean, I guess three, Landon is also just incredibly nice as well. Go support them. So we're doing the lip now. And it's really messy. And yes, I'm setting it down with powder. I hate... I will say this for all of you guys. I fucking hate lipstick. I hate how it's, like, goopy all the time. I hate that it, like grabs your hair. I don't like the feeling of it on my lips. So if I can make it matte any way that I can, I will make it lap matte. Um, and if you want to watch Dragula going off before, um, you can watch Dragula on Amazon, but you can also watch Amazon on Netflix because Amazon or uh, Netflix has Dragula. So CEO of hating lipstick is correct. Yes. For you guys.